You will start over here. This is um, a combined primary care office and an intensive care unit all in one. This will be your area that the mom is here. So whoever's doing primary? The funding agency is Health Services and Resources Administration and those are from the Department of Health, they're federal grants, and they, they offer uh, opportunities to write grants every few years and they're very specific. So my population of interest were children, but the population had to be unique and have something special, so we focused on um, children at risk. And to be able to incorporate another profession, we decided to use social work. And they're very involved, especially in the pediatric population, when we have complex families that we have to deal with. Students in healthcare need to know about each other's roles and responsibility, how to work together as a team, and how to communicate with each other. And so those were sort of our overriding principles when we brought them together. Our scenario went from the clinic where the primary nurse practitioner had to see the patient realize that there was a problem with the baby and transfer to the hospital. Also during the visit she consulted a nurse practitioner and then we went to the inpatient setting where we went into the intensive care unit and then again that nurse practitioner had to manage the patient plus consult social work to, to help with the mother. We built evaluation tools for each part of the scenario. So we evaluated each student in their own profession plus we evaluated them working together in the competencies for interprofessional. Working with social work is really great um, in this situation because it helps us kind of work through our roles without harming anybody in real life. I definitely think I took something away from it. It kind of helps um, with team building with the nurse practitioners, um, kind of gives you a chance to fill out what it's actually like in the hospital setting um, and try out some stuff before you actually go out into the real world. We cannot continue to teach professionals in silos and then send them out to the hospitals or into the community to take care of these complex issues and they've never worked together before. There's so much difference between the legal aspects of being a nurse practitioner and the legal aspects of being a social worker. Our challenge is to figure out how we can keep this going and involve more disciplines and, rather than just nursing and um, social work.